Finally, let's look at uh, some experimental data, actual experiment data on beta, symmetry fa factor, and J0 exchange current density. Okay. Uh, in the literature, the number of exchange current density data and symmetry factor, well, I have to admit, it's very, very limited. Very, very limited. You do not get a lot of these data because of experimental difficulty and also inadequate, insufficient studies. Here I borrowed a table from a textbook by Laval. It listed different half cell reaction or redox pair and the related supporting electrolyte, the measurement temperature, the actual inert electrode used, the J0, exchange current density for the specific concentration that is used, for example, for this one, 0 0.005 mole per liter, as well as J0, which means the standard exchange current density, assuming extrapolated by when the concentration are at a standard concentration, typically 1 mole per liter or 1 mole molar, 1 mole per kilogram of water, and the beta symmetry factor. And uh, you would see that the beta factor are quite often around 0.5, which is what we assume. But some can be greater than 0.5, and some can be smaller than 0.5. Okay? And uh, what you would notice first would be, of course, different electrode reaction, or we say different half cell reactions would have different J0 exchange current density. So let's take a look at some examples. We would have ion 3 plus ion 2 plus. That's one redox pair. Uh, the second one here, and the third one that I list here oxygen, water, but in aqueous condition. And you can see the J0, the standard electro. Um, exchange current density. Assuming under standard condition, they change a lot. For the oxygen water, it is a very small number. Well, for the ion 3 plus, ion 2 plus, or for the other, it was a much higher value. Okay, so this is one feature. Different electrode reaction or different half cell reaction would have very different exchange current density. And then, even for the same half cell reaction, sometimes we say the same electrode reaction, it may also have different exchange current density depending on the catalyst or the inert electrode material that is used. Okay, even for the same half cell reaction, let's take a look at this redox pair between proton and hydrogen gas, proton and hydrogen gas. One electrode would be mercury inert electrode, the other one would be platinum electrode. And you can see that between these two, the standard exchange current density, they differ by 10 to the power of 9, a billion times difference in exchange current density or the reaction rate when it is happening over mercury electrode, which is very, very slow, or over platinum electrode, which is very, very fast. How fast? By a billion times faster if the same reaction is occurring over inert platinum electrode versus it is occurring over a mercury liquid electrode. Okay, so these are the two features for the values, uh, especially exchange current density values for different reactions. Different reactions may have very different J0 value, and even for the same reaction, depending on the catalyst used, either by its chemistry or even uh, in some cases surface structure, the exchange current density can also be very, very different. And that is Part of the second it relates to part of the domain for electrocatalysis, uh, electrocatalysis.